In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a simple stop motion animation in Canva. And we're going to do everything for free. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Here we are on my Canva account. And to start with this animation, we are going to be selecting a specific Canva duct tape. So for this one, we are going to click on video and then I would like to create a square format for this animation. So I will be selecting the one that says Facebook video because this one is 1080 by 1080. And I will most probably be using this animation on Instagram and on the community section inside YouTube. So it doesn't matter if it says Facebook, you can download this animation at the end and you can upload it anywhere you wish. So if it says Facebook, don't worry. Let's open it. So I'm just going to click. Canva is going to open a blank page. So I'm going to start building my animation from here. I'm not going to be using any template for this animation. We are going to create everything from scratch. So I already uploaded a picture that I'm going to be using in this animation. So I'm just going to bring it here on my empty Canva and then I'm going to change the color of the background. So let's go here to background color. So I guess I will go for the pink one, but I would like to make it lighter like this. I'm just going to drag this pointer to the left and I already have a color that I like. If you want, you can insert your own color over here. If you have the hex code or you can select any of the colors that Canva is offering as over here. Okay, so I already have my background ready, my photo. And by the way, I just wanted to mention if you pay close attention to our photo, we have a white outline or white silhouette around our picture. So if you want to learn how to create this or you are wondering, can we create this in Canva? Yes, we can. And I'm going to give you a tutorial up here in which I teach you how to create this outline. Okay, so moving on with our stop motion animation, I'm going to bring the elements that I'm going to be using in this animation. So because I want to make it simple, I'm just going to use one element. So let's go to the elements section and I'm going to search by heart. Here, you would like to go to graphics. Once you are here, if you are using a Canva free account, you would like to go for the elements that says free, like this one. But if you have a Canva Pro account, you can go for any of the elements that you see on these search results. Okay, I have my heart over here. You can also change the color of the element by clicking on this menu. So in this case, I will try to make this color a little bit more saturated. Okay, I think this is fine. Now I'm going to adjust the size of this heart and I'm going to position it somewhere here. Now the next step is to go to position and go backwards. So as you can see, we don't see the heart anymore, but this is just for the first frame. Okay, now I'm going to close the elements window because we don't need it anymore. And what I would like to do is first to change the timing, the length of this first scene. So I'm going to click on this little timer <laughs> or the clock button and I'm going to reduce this just going to delete all these numbers and I will try to make it 0.2. I already did one of these stop motion animation and I did it with 0.3, which was already good. But this time I would like to try it with 0.2 and see how it goes. Now that I have this timing done, you will check here again, 0.2, this is fine. And here I would like to mention something very important because at the beginning of this video, if you remember, we selected a video doc type. So in this case, a Facebook video, but 
if you go to Canva and you selected a different doc type that is different from video, you may not be able to see this clock or this button right here, which is essential for this specific animation that we are going to create today. Okay, now we have this setting done and we're going to click on any of these gray areas. So we are making sure that we don't have any element selected inside the design. And now on this toolbar, I'm going to click on the duplicate page. Now we have two pages exactly the same, but now I would like to bring the heart that is behind Ronnie somewhere here next to his shoulder. So in order for me to select this heart, I'm going to select control and click. You see, now I have my heart selected and with my arrows in my keyboard, I'm going to bring this heart somewhere here so we can see it a tiny bit. Next, I'm going to click again on this gray area and duplicate. Now, this time, what I would like to do is to select the heart again. Remember that I'm pressing Ctrl or Command every time, like I'm pressing Ctrl and then click. Like this, I'm able to select the heart. Now I'm going to move it a tiny bit upwards and to the left, but this time I'm going to select shift and then my arrow up and to the left. And now in this scene number three, I'm going to duplicate the heart and I'm going to bring another heart next to my shoulder like this and then position backward. Now, what we would like to do is to keep repeating this process. So I'm gonna slowly move these two hearts upwards and I also will be tilting the hearts once in a while so we can see a slightly movement in the hearts. And then we are going to meet the two hearts over here for us to create a simple animation in which we are going to show some animated text. So let me do the process of the hearts a little bit faster and then I will talk about how to create this animated text. So I'm going to explain one more time what is the process that we need to create and then I'll be doing the process until we meet both of our hearts here in the center and then we'll continue with the tutorial. First, remember to click on this gray empty area, duplicate the page. We are going to select one of the hearts and then bring it up and to the left and then the second heart, going to select it as well and move it to the right and upwards. Then I will continue and see you in a couple of minutes. I'm gonna stop here, I'm halfway there, but I would like to see how my animation is looking. So to be able to preview my animation, I'm going to click on this button on the navigation bar on top. And as you can see, we have 2.6 seconds so far and we have 13 pages. So yes, this is going to take a little while for you to be able to create this animation, but I think it's worth it. So let's see how this is looking. I'm going to click on this button. And I think it's looking already very good. I'm going to keep moving my hearts until this area and then we'll continue with the tutorial. I have reached the moment in which my hearts are touching, so I'm going to add a couple of elements more in order to finalize this animation with something exciting. So let's go to elements and let's search for spark. I'm going again to graphics and then you can select any of the elements here if you have a Canva Pro account or if you have a Canva free account. Let's go for the free elements like this one. And I'm also going to add this one right here. Let me show it to you. 
here. So I'm going to adjust the size of these elements and let me just move this one here to the left and I'm going to duplicate this one and flip it vertically so I have it on my right hand side as well. I'm going to duplicate this page just to add another movement here to the hearts. What I'm doing here is recreating the effect of two elements bouncing or bumping into each other so they touch and they are separating again. So that's why I'm creating this slide and now I'm going to duplicate again this page but this time I'm going to delete these sparks and the two hearts and I'm going to add an animated text. So I always like to add a text box by pressing the key T. So I have my text box right here and I'm going to add my text over here. In this case I'm going to write Thank you, because we are about to reach 100,000 followers. So that's why I wanted to create this animation right here to thank you guys <laughs> for joining our community, for joining our YouTube channel. So now that I have my text box ready, I'm going to change the font for Puppins, really like this font. I'm gonna change the color to white and then I'm going to animate this text. Let's go to the toolbar and click on animate. Over here we have a bunch of different animations that are completely free. All of these that we see are free. The ones with the crowns are for Canva Pro users, but we have a bunch of really cool animations. For this one in particular, I'm gonna use the bounce animation. And then I'm also going to change the length of this slide. So let's make it three seconds and then later on we are going to see how this one looks. I'm going to add one more scene and then I'm going to change the thank you for 100. Okay, now I would like to see how this animation is looking so let's go again to this preview page. I think this animation is already looking amazing and I'm going to teach you how to download it. But in case that you want to download this as a video format mp4 and you would like to add some music you can go here to more and then select audio. Here you will see a lot of different tracks that you can use. Most of them I would say that they are available for Canva Pro users but there are some of the tracks that are completely free. If you really like one of these tracks and you want to really use it into your video but you have a Canva free account, you can pay for the usage of this song. So yeah, that's in case if you want to use a song into your animation. You can also upload here, you can upload your own audio. So that's another way. In this case, I'm not going to add any audio and I'm going to download it as a GIF format. You can download it as a MP4 video, as I already mentioned, for free and GIF also for free. So I'm just going to select GIF. I'm going to leave all the pages selected like this. So I don't have to do anything else and then download. And this is the final outcome. This is the GIF that I downloaded directly from Canva, completely free. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to keep learning more video tricks or more animation tricks, make sure to follow because I have a lot of tutorials coming up that are going to be super interesting and are going to be related to video and animations. Also, if you want to keep learning about Canva, I'm going to leave you guys a link in the description and right here for you guys to enjoy our 10 mini Canva courses for free. You can find more information in this link. And also I'm going to leave you guys two tutorials right here so you can watch them while you wait for next week's video. And I think this is all for today. I wish you a nice day and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!